I want to tell you about the most amazing Bible study that it has ever been given. It's the Bible study that Messiah gave to two of the disciples after the resurrection. It's written in Luke. Well, we can be there in that Bible study, but my good friend Joseph Farah has done the next best thing, the closest thing, and that is to put it all together in a book called The Gospel in Every Book of the Old Testament. And he's taken the entire Old Testament, 39 books, and book by book, he's taken Genesis and all the verses in Genesis that appear in the New Testament. Exodus, New Testament, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, right to the end. So what it's saying is that the Old Testament is filled with revelations about Jesus, Messiah. It is the size of a dictionary. I mean, it's great. I have read it. It's the most exciting thing. Uh, every Jewish person will say, this is our Messiah. We've missed it. The gospel in every book of the Old Testament. The subject of this publication by my friend Joseph Farah can't help but cause our hearts to burn within us as it did when Jesus opened up the Old Testament for his disciples on the road to Emmaus. I was actually researching and writing another book when some of the words of Jesus himself, as well as the gospel writers, seemed to jump off the pages of my Bible for the first time, almost like a lightning bolt. Those words were Matthew 4.23, and Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Matthew 9.35, and Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Matthew 24, 14, Jesus himself speaking, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When I began searching for the gospel in every book of the Old Testament, I was able to find it by applying this long overlooked or forgotten concept of this future kingdom promised by God through all of his prophets, Peter again emphasizes in Acts 3. That was the key, the common thread, if you will, that helps establish the gospel in all 39 books of the Old Testament. What's the significance of this? When most of us think about the gospel, we think about the message of personal salvation. When we witness to people, when we evangelize, we share that precious message of repentance. Jesus' sacrificial death, the resurrection, and the gift of eternal life. But what we don't typically share is the message of what Peter called in Acts 3, the restoration or restitution of all things, the redemption of the whole world, the new world Jesus will restore when he returns, a world the prophets Isaiah and Ezekiel and Joel all say will be like the Garden of Eden. How do you think that message would resonate today in places throughout the world without hope? I believe it will turn the world upside down, just as it did in the first century. You're going to be blessed, you're going to be enriched, you're going to be empowered, you're going to love Jesus all the more, and you're going to be amazed by Him. Get the new book, The Gospel in Every Book of the Old Testament by Joseph Farrell.